How's it going amigos? Welcome to Build Up. If you're new, my name is Antonio and for today's video, I'm going to be demonstrating some Photoshop actions that I came out with that will make CYK separations a lot faster and a lot easier. So amigos, I haven't been posting lately, but I've just been real busy as like uh, doing mostly graphic design work uh, for a shop in California as well here now locally. I haven't even printed anything down here like in the, almost two years since I've been more busy with the graphic design work, especially here locally. I'm beginning a lot as to do a lot of separations and mostly they're seeing white case. I decided to come up with some actions to make the whole process a lot faster and easier. I'm going to upload those on my buymeacoffee.com slash thing build up. So you can purchase those if you would like to. But right now I'm going to show you guys how it all works because it's real simple. It's going to turn your image to CYK channels along with this under base or export it to um, half tones. You can choose from 40 to 60 LPI or have the right angles already there as well as the retracement marks along with labeling what we'll color each. Also, I'll show you guys how you could switch the stretching marks that comes with the with my files in case you want to add your own ones. But yeah, I'll explain it right now, the whole process. So just to show you guys exactly what these sections are going to be to do, you have your image here, see what case separations you can play on your channels. It has the shirt color and you want to switch the color of the shirt, whatever you want to use. Get your C M Y K channels. You get you get two under bases. One is kind of like that where it's kind of like a not solid but if you want to go straight up solid you'll get that too now the solid one it does have a shock on it so basically you have your the shirt under base cyan magenta yellow black now it doesn't look exactly like the image that is on there but you will have to make some adjustments to it i'll show you guys right now then after that what you do is you export it to for example here 60 lpi you click play and you already have your under base cyan, magenta, yellow, and black, and they're already half tones with the right angles. Then we go to, to add the stretching marks over right here, play. You got stretching marks already down there. Also, if you want to see how this might look like on uh, when it's finally printed, you click play, you get the CYK preview. Make sure, yes, okay, continue. Hey, here's how it might look like. But again, we're going to, have to make some adjustments to this. I'll show you guys right now how to do that right now in a few moments. Um, but yeah, basically that's it. So let me show you guys all from the beginning to get this up and running. So. You will find these sections on um, buymeacoffee.com slash the ink buildup slash extras. I have those available. Once you download it, it will be a zip file. I'm going to extract it. Okay, so you're going to have your actions. You're going to have come up with, uh, you're going to have three templates for your film size, eight and a half by 11, 11 by 17 and 13 by 19. And these are the restriction marks that will be added to your, to your films. But right now, since they do have a different name on them, a different uh, how do you say address. Uh, that's the first thing we're going to do is fix that. So just open any any of these films templates. Let's go with the 13 by 19. You want to load them up the actions or load actions. Load. And here are now you could go with the button mode. I did color them, but where is it at? I did color them, but I don't like the button mode. I don't know why. I think I got used to these ones, the original one, the original look. But yeah, so first we got to fix the registration marks because once you do it, since it's not going to find the file. So for example, let's start with the 30 by 19. Just um, open it and click on the open. And right here, it'll be the first, uh, this one right here. Just double click it. See if it can be open because it has moved or deleted. Click OK. And here it is, 30 by 19. Remember, it's on the file that you just uh, you unzip. Click open. And there. So let's delete that one. Now let's do the 11 by 17. Open. Double click. Okay. You want to you're you're only gonna have to do this once. Okay, now let's go for the other one. Okay, there. So let's start. So let's do an example. Let's turn it to 30 by 19.
Now this guy right here, um, is there to help you so you can make aligning your films a lot easier. This guy from the middle of the restriction mark for the 13 by 19, it's uh, an inch distance. I think the other ones are like half an inch. I think the smallest one is half an inch. But yeah, I just made it so it could be a lot easier for you guys. That way your artwork could be on the same place every time. Okay, so let's open, let's add an image here. I downloaded some example images to work with. So let's do this one real quick, the Scarface one. Outline it. Restrict layer. And let's go with CYK separations, click play. And go to your channels. And here we have the color of the shirt. In case you want to change that. So here we got the cyan, magenta, and yellow, black. And like I mentioned, you do get two underbases. This is a lighter underbase, so it won't feel that heavy on the shirt. Or if you want, you can just go with the straight up solid underbase. Uh, this one does have a choke on, it has a 10 pixel choke. By the way, you want to choose that one or this one, I mean, it's up to you. But as you can tell right now, the image does not look exactly like the way it is. Let's open up real quick this one. So we can compare it. Because we are going to make some adjustments. Because like I mentioned, this is not going to do everything for you. So let's move this over here. Okay, so let's go on here. See, like I mentioned, we are going to rearrange this. Um, for me, the way I did it, it was uh, it was yellow, magenta, and black. Now, see when you have it full under base, it looks more like the original one. So what you can do if you don't want to use that full solid under base. On the underbase, just click on it and click image adjustments and levels. And this is where you can start messing around with it to get that close to it. Try not that much. Same preview. And that looks like close enough. I mean, you could make around, you could also play around with the yellow and the magenta. So yeah, so let me exit this one now. This one, we don't need this no more. So let's go back to this one. Okay. So the next step, go to your actions. And here, you have the option of 60 LPI up to, up down to 40. So let's just go with the 60 LPI. You click play. So now you have your underbase, your cyan, your magenta, yellow, and black. And there are already half tones. Each one is at 60 LPI. And yes, each one has their own angle already. Now, if you do want to switch the, if you want to switch the full underbase, if you want to use this one instead. Here you could just, use this section. I'll show you guys right now, but let's just continue with this in the meantime. So once that's done, it's time to add registration marks. And since we are doing on a 13 by 19, go to registration marks, 13 by 19, click play. And it will add it along with the color. So you have your white here, your sign and so on, so on. But also if you wanna, see a preview how it might look like once it's printed you go to cyk preview you click play make sure you're in the document under base okay continue and here's your preview but uh, let's label how do we have it over here we have yellow magenta cyan so let's rearrange here this one yellow magenta cyan and let's zoom in 
Let's see, we have your headphones here. So basically this is your preview of how it might look like on the shirt. Now if you want, you could save this, but we're not gonna, I'm not gonna do that. So let me close that. So once you feel everything is good, if you look at the layers, see how your position marks in the white, the name right here. You want, you could flatten those. Here's the flatten layers action. Make sure you're, you're not going to underpaste. Click continue. And they're all flat. So now what we could do is you could file your print, or in my case, what I do is I just save it as a PDF and print it because then later on, I want to use it later again. So yeah, so let's close these ones. And I'm gonna show you guys real quick in case you do wanna switch the underbase. Where's it at, where's it at? Close out others. So. Okay. So we're back. So let's go to, again, export 60 LPI. So now pretend that you don't want to use it on the base. You want to use the solid one. Just go to switch to full on the base, click play. I'll tell you to make sure you're on the, on the base document, click continue in there. And then you do the rest of the session marks, plan the layers, print, etc. So yeah, so basically that's it. I mean, it's not that, I think you'll take longer probably on doing the adjustments here for each color. And here, I do have a choke and stroke. This is in case like, for example, here, you don't wanna uh, add a stroke to it. Uh, let me actually do it with another, another image just to make be more um, clear. Do another one. Can okay, let's try this one here. Like, uh, this is one that I did here. Um, and I did here the printer here locally because we're now in December. So right now that Virgin Mary is real popular right now. So there's a lot of people coming with that print. That's why I've been getting a lot of CYK requests here. And that's why it made me actually do these CYK actions to make my whole separation process a lot easier and faster, man. Okay, let's play. Okay, like for example, here, um, like I mentioned, like you wouldn't go with this under base, but you do want to like, uh, for example, if there was like a, if this had color right here, and it'll be like an under base along with the color on top, and you only want to choke the, you know, either want to choke the, the base or add a stroke to the color on top, you're going to do is make a selection, like for example here, like for example, let me do this real quick. Mexico, where's the sign? Let's pretend that this was, that this was a um, cyan, like for example, like it was like this for the shirt. And you wanna add, you can either add a stroke, uh, a stroke to the to the blue, that way you won't have that under base showing on the bottom. All you gotta do is let's hide these layers. Go to cyan, and you can add a, add a stroke to it. And then just make add a seven point seven pixel stroke to it. Or you could do the other case where you'll choke the under base. So that's one thing to do. Now, another thing I wanna show you guys is, uh, what if you have your own restriction marks that you wanna add yourself in case you don't like mines? Cause I understand people have their own, their own preference. But yeah, let's pretend like for example, these were my own personal restriction marks. I'm gonna use those because I'm used to it. I already have them labeled in a certain way. Well, basically all you're gonna do is go to the file. For example, let's go to the, let's see, you use 13 by 19 all the time. Go to the restriction marks right here in the file, open it, go to the layers. And right here, what you're gonna do is just go to Photoshop and Illustrator. You know, just copy it, you know, select your copy. Go to Photoshop, paste it. Make sure that it's online in the middle. Okay, we're getting this. 
and basically I'm gonna do is name it exactly as this layer and keep it here because it, that's very important because these sections, they're critical on the way the order is because if you move something, it's, you're gonna get an error. So let's just rename this to registration marks and delete this one. Now you save the document. So now when you do an artwork, 13 by 19, let's open it up. And we'll just do a quick sample real quick. Where's it at? So I'm gonna just do it real quick. Yeah, and export 68 LPI. So now we go to stretch marks, click play. Oh, wait, I clicked the wrong one. <laughs> My bad, I clicked the wrong one. I did 13, 8, 8, 11. So let me close. Let's do that again. Close all others. Where is it? Export to Excel API. Okay, 13, 13 by 19. Look, okay. play. And there, there's your own registration marks. So it's that simple. Everything stays the same, the text, everything. So basically, that's it. Basically, that's all the action. But again, once you do this, everything's gonna be a lot faster. So let's do another one real quick. 11 by 17, let's do this time. 11 by 17, why not? Let's do this one. The Virgin Mary, where's it at this one? You know, CYK, play. You can make your adjustments. And I did this one actually, I did it at 50, 50 LPI for here locally. See how the face. Impression marks, led by 17. Flying layers. I'm gonna double check on that preview again. So yeah, so basically that's it. So yes, so those are the actions that I came up with. Now if you're interested in supporting this channel, uh, you can find those at buymeacoffee.com slash thank build up just hit on extras i will leave a link in the description below so you can find those because i'm trying to build the channel up again at this moment right now my youtube monetization is out since last year i went six months without uploading any content so they took that away from me so i'm trying to build trying to make more videos I haven't been able to do anything because since i have been busy with the whole graphic work now i will leave some free actions i'll, I'll leave a link in the description where i'll just make the cyk channels but if you want everything where it has the cyk turning to hat tones um as well adding the treasure marks well uh, you could download those if you want you can purchase those but yeah basically that's it for today's video um later on i will try to make more screen printing related videos where actually where i'm printing but i don't know how long this is going to take but basically that's it so see you guys next time